Like some people, some people eat like a damn pig, but I don't. I, I just eat along ordinarily. When we were little kids at home, we didn't have much to eat. Daddy and I, we used to go to the mountain, cut wood, 50 cents a cord. Of course, that bought a lot of cornmeal at that time. And we lived on corn. That was what we lived on. Some people would starve to death on what I eat. Well, they don't buy too much stuff. They don't really need it. Who would die? That's one reason why I don't have a telephone. That's right. About $10 a month, I can use somewhere else. Well, the people tell me I ought to have one living here alone. Well, maybe I should. But I don't. And you're going to shun my belly for telephone. I do my dishes once a day. I learned that back when I was painting, right after my wife died. I'd come home here every night and I'd be tired as the devil and didn't want to do anything, you know. So I just quit washing dishes of an evening and switched over to the morning after I'm done with breakfast to wash up everything. That's the day. Wash dishes once, once a day. <laughs> <coughs> I feel pretty good outside of my throat. I've had extra help. Yes, sir. Extra. Ordinary. I can thank the good Lord for that. I feel good enough right now to go out here and soul wood or do anything. I just can't go. I get started and I'm, I'm, I'm done. Stop. I can say is this. Kids are trying to tear down what everything we've built up in the last hundred years. Trying to tear it all down. They're still trying to take care of it. And the drug problem is just like everything else. It's like blowing the hell out of everything. You can't figure out what in the devil they'd be thinking about taking the damn drug or blowing the hell out of everything. It don't make good sense. One of our biggest troubles is we got too many old people in the Congress. There's a bunch down there that ought to, be, ought to come out of that. They ain't too damn long. place was a damn wilderness when I bought it. And this whole hill up here was nothing but brush. I dug them out the hard way. Yes, sir, this is the place where I got stoop shouldered on. Done grubbing trees, grubbing brush. 
Now it's starting to grow back up again since I ain't able to work it. If I could keep on working, I'd be all right. But I can't keep it clean and I don't want to stay around here and see it all grow up. I don't drive near as much as I used to. I used to be going two or three times a day or a week and going on Sunday, but I ain't been away on Sunday for I don't know how long, except to go to church. No, I, I don't like to stay away from home somehow. I can make the older get the more stick to stick to home. I ain't been away but about three times since my wife died after the night. Always home but dark. These darn young boys riding around here after the night, they don't care where they drive, and they run into me, why? Where goes my license? At my age now, if anything happens, they're gonna take them away from me. So, I better just lay low. but I believe that's a lie. I believe most people have those arguments. I don't know we used to argue. I was a little bit like I am. She just kept working all the time. Around the house. Kept the house and his kids. She was never sick too much. Just get old and wore out, I guess. I don't know. She was a wonderful woman. Had to be, we lived together 52 years. Well, there's an old, old saying that when you get old, why, and nobody wants you. And it's the truth. Well, they never know, nobody never bothers you after you get old. I got a son, the only son I got. He don't know if I'm living or dead. He comes out about once, twice every two years or something like that. <laughs> was out this summer once. I mean, stopped and talked a few words to me. And then got in the truck and went on. <coughs> I knew people to worry about dying, but I never worry about it. Or I never think about it. Even my age, I very seldom ever think about it. I don't fear it. But that's the thing we're all going to do. And you've got to do, so you just might as well make up your mind to go with it. I made my mind up about six, seven years ago. Yeah, I'm ready. I sit around here and everything's quiet and nobody about. You will doze off. You doze off and if you sleep very long at a time, though, you'll wake up. Can't help but fall asleep. <laughs> 